let me tell you something very, very alarming. So alarming that this piece of news is just as important as the good piece of news. And this comes also from the publications that have just appeared. So we'll go back to this chart here. And I told you, they vaccinated, they found that the IgG and IgA antibodies came immediately. Then they waited for another two weeks or three weeks, and then they gave the people a second shot. What did they see? They saw that the IgG and IgA levels immediately continued to rise, which is what a booster is supposed to do. However, now listen very carefully. Look at this. This is a vessel wall. This is your blood. It is now known that the genes that are injected into your body will enter the bloodstream, and it is absolutely certain now that these genes are going to enter the cells that line the vessel wall, because these are the cells that they contact. Now, what happens when the cells that line the vessel walls begin to produce these spikes? The spikes will then be produced by the cell and protrude from the cell surface into the bloodstream. All right. Now, these cells are going to be recognized by your lymphocytes that are born or given to you by the dear Lord to kill those cells that are making the virus or the virus protein, any virus protein. So these lymphocytes are going to mount the attack on your vessel walls. This is the first way towards clot formation that, as we know, is happening all over the place, all over the world. Now, at the beginning, after the first vaccination, this danger is bad and is already terrible in itself if your killer lymphocytes start trying to kill you. But at that time, during the first seven to 10 days, there are still no antibodies. There are not yet any antibodies. However, after three or four weeks, there are masses of antibodies all over the place in your blood. And if you dare to repeat this performance and start to put those spikes out into your blood, God help you. Because now, not only the killer lymphocytes are going to attack, antibodies and complement and leukocytes are also going to attack, thinking that your cells that are producing these spikes are bacteria. And they are going to try to eat your vessel wall cells. Now, this attack of the Air Force and the Navy on a single cell target has never been seen before. There is no situation because either you're combating a virus or you're combating a bacteria. Mixed infections that uh, go through the body are actually virtually unknown. So we have the unique situation that has been created by the vaccination that is in a way extremely interesting because no one knows what the outcome will be. However, the vision is so horrible and so awful and terrifying that I myself don't really want to know the answer and I don't want this answer to become known. I want you to decide to not take the second shot. Not only the second shot, but any shot thereafter is going to place your life in danger. That is what I'm convinced of now, especially because of the publications that have just appeared. So I think that was the most important thing I have to say today. And I hope people will sit down, look at these papers, talk about them. And I hope that my colleagues, physicians and scientists 
will do the same and get together to see whether this may have a grain of truth. Because if it does, the consequences are absolutely endless. Or the consequences are very simple. We just have to stop everything now.